skip it a button that up so I'm sure many of you have heard that John Bain, aka Total Biscuit, one of YouTube's biggest gaming commentators, uh, has passed away. On May 24th, he finally lost his battle with cancer. Now, a little bit of a backstory on that. A few years ago, uh, John was diagnosed with bowel cancer, which was very surprising because the kind of cancer that he was diagnosed with is something usually you don't even have to be tested for until you're about 50 years old. But John did say it ran in his family, and unfortunately, at a very young age, he was was diagnosed with this kind of cancer. Now it was a very sad roller coaster for John because he was actually cured of his bowel cancer. Uh, later on he went back and got checked and they found no cancerous material in his colon. But even though his colon was cleared of cancer, the cancer spread to other parts of his body like his spine and his liver and his lung. And on May 24th, 2018, he finally lost his very long and very painful battle with the cancer. Now John was a very outspoken individual in the gaming community. Even if his opinion was not popular, he would still give his two cents and speak his mind. And due to that, he pissed off many people, whether it be game developers or game publishers, other critics in the gaming industry, or game developers themselves. If John had an opinion, he was going to let you know, and he didn't care if your feelings were hurt. Well, apparently he hurt one former Bioware developer's feelings very much, because when this developer found out that John passed away, he celebrated Total Biscuit's death on Twitter. Now, I have to give credit where credit's due. I actually got this information from YouTuber Young Yi, who also did an excellent video regarding this whole situation with this Bioware developer and Total Biscuit. If you want to check that out, I'll have a link to his video below in the description. Also, too, I'm very thankful that Young Yi made his video because this David Crooks, who was a former Bioware developer, made his Twitter private and got rid of a whole bunch of information online trying to clean up after what he said. But remember that the internet forgets nothing, dude. So how did this fine young developer act when he found out that Total Biscuit passed away? Well, like an utter piece of shit, this is what he had to say. Weird. The world just felt a little better sometime around an hour, hour and a half ago. Maybe it was just those new running shoes I got from my run home. Oh wait, I know, it's because Total Biscuit died. Hey everyone, watch this. I know it's rude to piss on someone's grave, but these axes aren't going to grind themselves. And then he posts a picture of axes, cause you know, that's edgy and clever. How about the time that he was the center point of not one, but two major games I worked on, dishing up plethora of shitty criticism that was less than useful and didn't help anyone and are still some of his most viewed videos and then he goes on to talk about total biscuits toxic fan base and how total biscuit would send his fan base after people when he gave opinions on them it, it's just a typical angry internet guy shit that you hear from countless other people and he's just a bitter little bastard he also goes on to say that he hated total biscuit because he backed gamergate this is what david crooks had to say about that but those are just little paltry things really who could forget his endorsement of gamergate which i endorse too and feeble attempts to spin it as just about ethics and gaming journalism which I proved, while blissfully hopping on to other malicious podcasts, etc., working overtime to slam women and minorities. Which, side note, the main group of gamer gators, there's always bad apples in every group, but the main group of gamer gators did just want ethics and journalism, David, so shove that up your ass. There's a video out there, I believe it's still on YouTube. If it is, I'll have a link below in the description showing gamer gators that are black, white, gay, straight, transgender, you name it, saying that we're gamer gators. We're not just a bunch of angry white males that only want white males in video games. We just want ethics and journalism. That, that video is out there, David. Go check it out and you need to shut your mouth because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And David's ranting and raving about Total Biscuit continues on Twitter and he ends his tweet tirade with this. I'm saying this for myself, but I might as well be saying this for those who are and still could be. Fuck that guy nine ways to Sunday and good riddance to bad rubbish. Now, due to David Crook's nasty comments about Total Biscuit on Twitter, he has now made his account private because I'm sure he's gotten a lot of backlash and he is now trying to hide under a rock to stay away from people. But the internet never forgets and I hope he could find a new field of work because nobody is ever going to hire that dude to program for a video game ever again. As a matter of fact, Bioware's general manager Casey Hudson came out and said something about these nasty comments made about Total Biscuit. I was extremely disappointed to find out about the comments on the passing of John Bain Total Biscuit from someone who was previously part of Bioware. Let me be clear that they do not represent Bioware's views, EA's, or my own. 
Our condolences go out to John and his family. Have fun flipping burgers, David, if you can even get hired doing that. Now, am I in the camp that you can't criticize someone after they pass away? No, that's not what I'm trying to say here. One example I'll bring up right now, and this person is still alive, but they're having a, a very big struggle with terminal brain cancer, is John McCain. He has a lot of political viewpoints that I do not agree with. Um, and I wish John the best, but I still will disagree with his political viewpoints and how he is pro-war and, and, and things like that. But I, I wish that man nothing but the best. I, I consider him a hero to the United States. And, uh, you know, I, I can't imagine what he's going through. But when it comes to what he stands for politically, there's many things that I will wholeheartedly disagree with him on. And I'm not going to change my viewpoint on that due to the struggles that he's going through right now. But the way that David Crooks handled this whole situation is just low class and shitty and you could tell this guy has some kind of psychological issues because if he was this ass hurt over what total biscuit said then he needs to go see a shrink and find a new line of work which i think he's gonna have to do anyway just beyond the fact that he w was sitting there like pissing on a man's grave who just had a multi-year battle with cancer that i can't even imagine what he went through just the way he went about it and the things that he was criticizing him for because he was pro Gamergate, I'm pro Gamergate. I, I've heard the same shit that he said. People have called me racist and sexist because I've been pro, pro Gamergate. What is up this dude's ass, man? And yeah, David, he criticized the games that you worked on before. He had issues with EA. I have issues with EA. Many other people do. Go cry in a corner somewhere because he criticized games you worked on, you delicate little snowflake. One of the things I absolutely can't stand, and it's brought up with me too, whether when I criticize another YouTuber, whether they're a smaller YouTuber or a larger YouTuber, or when I criticize a game developer or a person or whatever the case may be, is that, and he kind of, David Crook, did this with Total Biscuit too. Oh, he's bringing his legion of toxic fans to go attack somebody because he had an opinion on that person and he knows if he talks about them that they're going to be attacked. First off, this drives me absolutely insane and I wish people would stop. Just because I have a negative or positive opinion on a game developer or person or YouTuber who is a person, but you get my point, so on and so forth, I don't need you to white knight for me. John didn't need you to white knight for him. Please stop doing that because when you go attack another person or a company or whatever the case may be because I had an opinion or John had an opinion or whatever the case may be, that whenever someone is attacked by these super fans, I call them, it's their excuse to say, oh, Rich only said this or John Bain only said this because he wanted us to be attacked. And it undermines the credibility of the commentator that made the video. And it gives pieces of shit like David Crook's ammunition to say, hey, I'm the victim. John Bain, Total Biscuit, only made this video to have me attacked. And it's an effective tactic because people say, oh, look at Rich or look at John or look at Angry Joe or whatever the case may be. They're just giving an opinion so their fans will attack a developer or another YouTuber or so on and so forth. Please stop doing that. I know me saying this won't make it stop, but I wish it would stop where, you know, subscribers or super fans, I call them, attack another public figure it's it's useless it's pointless and it solves absolutely nothing but side rant done and i'll reiterate a point i made previously in this video again i'm not saying that you can't criticize the dead but there's a way to go about it and the way that david crooks went about it was tasteless and disgusting total biscuit was a son total biscuit was a husband and total biscuit was a father and he had opinions on video games. Video games, it's a hobby and something that we enjoy. And for you to take this this personally, David, just means you have other issues, man. Total Biscuit's wife is on Twitter and I can't even imagine what she's going through. And then to see something like what David Crooks wrote where he's basically calling her husband, not basically, he is calling her husband a piece of trash saying fuck that guy is nine ways to Sunday. It just shows what kind of character David has. And I truly do hope he's blacklisted from the industry because I wouldn't want a piece of shit like that working for me. Everybody, whether they're alive or not, can be criticized, but there's a way to go about it. And the way that David went about it is not the way it should have been handled. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. My heartfelt condolences go out to John and his family. Thank you.